Hello all, uh, this is a basic video on uh, setting up and using your Dazzle and how to convert and render the file to post it on YouTube. Um, first thing you need to do is you need to start off by opening Pinnacle Instant. Um, you just click on it, obviously. And then when it's up and running, uh, you need to make sure that the capture source is uh, set to your capture card. Uh, in my case it's the Dazzle DVC 100 uh, and obviously the options um, I don't mess around with these options, these are all pretty standard uh, but you need to make sure that the video standard is set to NTSC um, I know this is an American format um, but it's the one we need to use in order to record with. Click OK. Um, set the folder obviously to where you want it to record to um, I have mine set to um, just an external folder which contains all of sort of my uh, TFC information um, and then the only other thing you need to adjust on here is the number of minutes that you want to record to I have it set for 60 I mean generally an hour is enough for most things uh, and the video quality uh, I have mine set to automatic uh, for some reason, if I try to take it any higher, like to good, better, or best, um, I have some um, recording problems. Um, so I leave it all a mag, and that does the job. Um, the next thing you're going to need to do, uh, if you look over on the screen at the moment, you'll see it's in black and white. Um, obviously, when you're recording, you're going to want full color. So you need to open up a program called AMCAP. Um, you can download that. Uh, just to type it in somewhere on the internet. AM. C A P um, to click on that and you'll just get a little cannot create audio capture filter pop up uh, just ignore that go to devices and make sure that's also set to the Dazzle DVC 100 video device um, you'll notice that there's no picture here if you have a picture come up here uh, then you need to start again because you shouldn't be receiving a picture now that you've got it open in Pinnacle uh, go to the options and set the video capture filter to CCAM B. So go down until you get to CCAM B. Uh, you'll notice now that on the uh, the main screen you'll have color. Uh, the second you click start recording, uh, it'll go back to black and white. So I'm going to click start recording now, uh, and I'm going to click yes because obviously I want it to record. Uh, but unfortunately, it's gone back to black and white. It's really easy to get around. Just go back to the folder over here and reselect CCAM B. Uh, it's probably already on CCAM B so just go back to it again and the color will appear. As you can see now it's uh, back in color and it's recording and I've already got sort of 18 seconds of footage here so I'm going to stop recording now, that's enough footage so stop recording there. I'm going to come out of all of these programs now and now I'm going to show you how to uh, convert the uh, folder that you just recorded into a YouTube video so you need to go to where the recordings are um, mine's just here it'll show you as a VTS file um, but Vegas does read VTS files um, I may, it may be better if I show you this way um, because I know a lot of people have problems with this right, you need to go to file and open you need to go to the folder that it's in um, and at the moment you'll see that there's no items match your search but all you need to do is click on this one here at the moment it's set to all project and media files uh, go all the way to the top and just click on all files that brings it up and then just select the VTS file uh, right you'll see that it's now open in Vegas uh, I'm using Vegas 9.0 um, and you'll see at the moment that it's in a a very small window a bit blurry not very good first thing you want to do is right click on your mouse and go down to properties you want to take the tick away from maintain aspect ratio get rid of that click on OK you'll see that that's now stretched um, and again the quality is still pretty poor at this point but you want to click this one here the event pan and crop uh, select that um, you'll probably find that if you push in on the corners all the corners will go in um, but if you just want to adjust that slightly different just untick these two boxes here on the left hand side and then you can adjust each side individually um, I'm pretty happy with that the way it is at the moment so I'm going to close that 
Um, then the next thing you're going to want to do is you may be on Explorer here, but you want to click this box for video effects, and we're going to select the effects that you want to use. This is really going to help boost up your quality. Um, I already have my effects set, uh, so I'm going to go down here to Event Effects, but I'm going to show you what these effects are. Um, I'm going to click on uh, Test 2 because I like the uh, settings on that one. Um, actually, no, I'm, I'm not going to use uh, my best settings, so I'm going to push Add and I'm going to push OK. Right, so the first thing we're going to look at is Color Corrector Secondary. Um, again, you know, if you're using the video effects on the side here, just scroll down until you come to uh, Color Corrector Secondary. Um, but I'm going to just read out the settings to you in case for some reason you can't see this. On the Rotate Hue, it should be 0.0. .0. On the saturation, it should be 1.396. The gamma should be 1.000. Gain should be 1.000. And offset should be 0, 0.0. Alpha should also be 1.000. Uh, angle and the magnitude should all be set to 0. There should be no ticks in show mask or invert mask. And the limit luminous uh, should be 0, 0.0 on low. Uh, high should be up to 2.55.0. Smooth should be 0, 0.0. Uh, tick limit saturation if it's not already ticked. And tick limit hue if it's not already ticked. The low should be 0, 0.0. High should be 162.0. Smooth should be 0, 0.0. Center should be 180.0. Width should be 360.0. And smooth should be 0, 0.0. You're probably not going to need to adjust too much in that. Um, I think maybe it's just the saturation that you need to adjust, but I can't remember because it was quite a while ago I set these up. Um, the next one you're going to ne need to tick on your effects is saturation adjust. Uh, again, you shouldn't really need to uh, change much on here at all. The amount should be set to 0, 0.0, center should be up to 0, 0.55, spread should be 0, 0.5, low should be 0, 0.0, and high should be 0, 0.0. And on the sharpen, just take it up a little bit. Take it up to a, a 0.134. That's what I like to use. That does the job. Uh, and then your effects are in. Um, if you now want to save these uh, effects, uh, just tick on the plugin chain. And you want to go to Save As. And you want to type it in, whatever it is you want to save it as. I've got mine obviously set to uh, my best settings. You can set it to however you want. You don't need to... Uh, you don't need to copy what I've written there. Um, so I'm coming out of that now, but obviously you need to make sure that's on there. Right, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to File and Render As. Um, obviously this is a test video, so I'm just going to put it as Test, that's fine. Um, now if you go on YouTube, you'll see lots of tutorials telling you to use um, all different weird and wonderful things. Most of them will tell you to use MP4 format. Um, and eventually this video will be going into mp4 format for YouTube um, but I find that if I do it through Vegas um, it doesn't come out as clear as if I convert it twice for another program and that sounds absolutely crazy um, but it, it really does happen and um, I'm not sure why but the quality is better if you do it the way I'm about to show you so you want to go to Windows Media v Video at V11 um, if you're using an older version, it may be like V9 or something like that, but V11. Um, and again, I've got a custom one set up here, but you're going to set uh, as free MBPS video, uh, and then you're going to customize that. Okay, so you're going to customize it, and on the audio, you want to make sure that it's ticked for include audio, set the quality to VBR, format Windows Media Audio 9.2, and the attributes VBR quality 10, 44 kHz stereo VBR. The video should be set to quality VBR, Windows Media Video 9, and this is where you're going to change a couple of little bits. You're going to have it custom, and you're going to have the width 1000 uh, by 480. Uh, pixel aspect ratio should be 1 square, and the frame rate should be 30 uh, frames per second, and the keyframe should be free, and I'll whack the quality up to 100%. Um, I know the 1000 by 480 isn't your standard width for YouTube, and yes, the video will end up slightly letterboxed, but I find this is the best way to keep the quality, uh, particularly on a Dazzle DVC 100, um, because obviously, you know, it's not no half hours, you're not going to get the full quality, 
Um, so don't even try and get full quality really. Um, but this is the best quality I think you're probably going to get. Uh, you want to set your bit rate, well with your bit rate you don't want to do anything. Your index summary you don't want to do anything. And on your project you want to make sure that's set to best. Click OK. Obviously um, if you want to save that uh, you can just put in here whatever you want to save it as and click the save button. That will save it as a custom template. Save you keep doing that every time. Uh, and then obviously for me I've saved it as YouTube high quality so I just select that and now I'm just going to save it. Um, obviously it's only a 20 second video so it's going to save quite quickly anyway. Obviously the other thing I didn't mention and for the purpose of this video it's not um, all that important um, but if you want to splice some parts of the video out um, then all you need to do is where you want to splice from if you just hit the S button on your keyboard on Vegas uh, that puts splice in and then obviously the section you don't want you can delete that um, and then obviously that's that done um, right the video obviously finished rendering whilst I was talking um, so we're just going to have a little look at the test video obviously this is the black and white bit um, from when we started up Pinnacle and we was just messing around with the AMCAP that's at the point where we selected C -cam B. so now we have the full colour uh, and obviously you know, you're not seeing the full quality at the moment, but this is the quality that you're going to get from the video. And you'll see the little letterbox effect here, um, but it's no big deal. Okay, now the next thing you're going to need to do um, is I said that we're going to put it into MP4 format for YouTube, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, at the moment, it's in ABI format, um, but to convert it to MP4 format, I use a program to, called FLV to AVI. Um, click on that really this is really easy to use just click add files click the pro video that is that you want to convert that will drag that into the program um, video quality whack up to super superb get it as high as possible um, and you're going to put your designated folder as to where you want it to save um, I'm just going to put it in my finished videos um, over here and then I'm going to hit the convert button. This doesn't take long at all because remember you're converting it to an MP4 and MP4s really aren't that big. Um, so there we go, there it goes, it's over 80%. And that's that finished. Alright, close everything down. I don't need anything. Right, the next step is to obviously get it onto YouTube. Um, so obviously you're going to open up your internet at this point. I'm going to select. YouTube um, obviously if you're using this video feel free to have a look on Foot Soldier Clan um, that's our channel that's got our videos on it that's got quite a bit of stuff on there stuff that I've done stuff that other people have done um, but yeah it's really easy to upload to YouTube make sure you've got an account and then you click this little button here upload go to upload video choose the video that you're uploading uh, it's only a short video, so hopefully it won't take that long to upload. Uh, copy, paste. I'm not going to put too many tags in here, but obviously for whatever video you're using, put as many tags in as you want. Uh, I'm going to put it in the entertainment section. Click on save changes just here. And now we're just waiting for the video. Your video settings have been saved. Um, over here is the foot soldier clan thing but obviously for your account it'd be something different just click on my videos uh, obviously in your videos it'll be the top one as you'll see at this point it's a, a little white screen because it's still processing at the moment if you click on this video it'll probably give you a message like an error has occurred please try again later uh, again this is because this video is not yet processed um, for the purpose of this video I made another one slightly earlier. Uh, these literally only take a couple of minutes to process, but this is the one that I made a, a little bit earlier using the exact same settings that I've just shown you. Um, there you go, playing away. It's probably pretty clear there. You could probably see that quite well. Um, I hope this has helped you. Um, and any questions? Feel free to message this video. And by the way, for this video, I am using the exact same settings that I've used. Uh, to make the test videos uh, for you to see those sets.